Hi, my name is Wang here at Source Graphics. Today we're unboxing the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect, the newest addition to the line of printers from Ultimaker. Let's get straight into unboxing the printer. When you open up the box, the first thing you have is a foam piece with all the accessories for the printer. First, you have a spool of filament, power cord, and an accessory box that holds small accessories. Inside the accessory box, you have a build plate, a calibration card, a screwdriver, Unilube lubricant, a glue stick, magnet lube grease, power supply, and an ethernet cable. After the accessories, the last thing in the box is the printer itself. The Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect is a single extrusion FDM printer with a 8.7 by 8.6 by 8 inch build volume. It has an easy to use 2.4 inch color touchscreen. The 2 Plus Connect is a reliable first step into the Ultimaker world of easy remote 3D printing. Now we begin setting up the printer. To start, there are blue zip ties around the X and Y axis rods holding the print head in place. Cut these before you turn your printer on just in case it tries to move. After you do that, you can plug the printer in and turn it on. When you turn the printer on, you may see a screen saying that you need to update your firmware. All you have to do is download the latest firmware to a flash drive and put the flash drive into the printer. It will automatically see that file and start the update. We will put the link in the description where you can download that. Once that's done, you're welcomed and can move on to the main menu. Now, we can install the build plate and filament. Starting with the build plate, the print bed has four metal tabs holding it in place. Just rotate the front two so you can slide the build plate in. Push them back against the build plate to secure it. Ultimaker printers come calibrated and leveled so you won't need to level the bed before you start printing. Now, we can install the filament mount and load the material. Press the filament icon at the top left of the screen. Now hit load material, press start installing material. The printer is set to PLA by default, which is what we've got for ours. So if you have PLA, go ahead and press yes. The nozzle will heat up so that filament can be printed. Get your filament ready by cutting the end at an angle, making it easier to go into the feeder. Put the top tab in, and then push down until the two bottom tabs click into place. Now place the filament spool onto the filament holder. Open the feeder lever, then you can start pushing the material into the feeder. Unlike the other Ultimaker printers, you have to push the filament all the way through to the print head. Once you do that, go back to the screen and press material loaded. The nozzle is heated so the printer will start extruding filament to ensure it's loaded properly. When you see the filament start extruding properly without the little bubbles on the strand, press material is extruding. After you hit that, the nozzle will begin to cool so that the filament stops extruding. Now, the material is loaded. Press return to menu and you are ready to start printing. With our printer, we got the air manager, which encloses the top of the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect and filters out ultra fine particles. It also acts as a physical barrier to prevent users from reaching into the machine and it automatically adjusts its fan speed to optimize print quality based on the material. In the small box, you will find the fan housing for the air manager. The installation is fairly simple. A tab in the center of the air manager goes into the opening and a magnet holds it into place. There is a cutout so you can put your wiring and tubes on the inside of the air manager.
Now, we can put the filter on. Keep the tab side down and facing the front of the printer, and just place it into the air manager. We can now install the clear top mounted enclosure. For this, it's very simple. It just sits nicely on top of the printer with a cutout for the fan of the air manager. With the air manager installed, you'll get more repeatable, stronger, and higher quality prints due to the more consistent air temperature. Now, just plug it into the out port next to the power cable. This powers up the air manager and connects the air manager to the printer. Also included with the air manager is the door for the front of the printer. This makes your printer fully enclosed. There's a seated hinge on the bottom, and behind the handle, there's a magnet which holds the door on. We now have a completely set up, fully enclosed Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Visit sourcegraphics.com to find out more on the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect, schedule a demo, or request a sample part.